that residents and industries rely on to pursue their daily lives. Within this growing population, those from out of state who have previously lived different lifestyles want to continue doing so in this desert state by following practices that would ultimately require more water in the long run, such as having a lawn that needs water. We need to evaluate the best route of action to ensure secure water supply to a large population in an area area with such a dry climate. Where? Our sustainability problem takes place in the growing city of Phoenix within the state of Arizona. This place is known as a desert biome, a desert bi and desert biomes are not particularly known for having a plentiful water resource supply. The wind. For these stakeholders, Arizona has always been a dry location. Yet now the growing, with the growing population, every single second that passes just increases the demand on our already limited water supply. The why? Since Phoenix, large, look, the Phoenix's largest population is growing, um, it is imperative that a secure water supply is ensured for not just the current population, but for future, possibly larger populations as well. And finally, the how. Um, this can be achieved through regulation practices put into place by Phoenix's government and participation from local industries and hopefully all of the Phoenix residents. Details of the problem. So, the sources of our water are derived from Colorado, which is cap, salt and uh, Verde rivers, FRP, and aquifers that are naturally in the area. And the ability to use them sustainably comes with many barriers. Foremost is Phoenix's desert climate, averaging less than eight inches annually. Limits to the amount of natural water found in our area and human consumption patterns have also made it difficult. 74% of our water consumption is allocated to irrigation, 21% goes to municipalities, and 5% goes to industry. Much of the technology used in household appliances that utilize water, such as toilets, dishwashers, and washing machines, are very inefficient and waste many gallons of water a day. With the state being in a nearly 20-year drought, along with the Colorado River and the, the reservoirs reaching critically low levels, will Phoenix be able to continue to sustain its growth, or will we see it fade away like the ancient Hohokam with their civilization? civilization collapse due to similar drought conditions. Thank you. 
Thank you. 